So the last, and only, time I've talked about Rocco's Modern Life on this channel was my video about a banned episode of Rocco's Modern Life. If you haven't seen that video, you should totally watch it after this one. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. But Rocco's Modern Life really was a great show. It was so enjoyable when I was a kid. The animation style, the wacky characters, and even wackier antics, there was a lot to love. But when I became a teenager, I found a whole new love for Rocco's Modern Life, as I had come to recognize all the subtle adult humor that was sprinkled in for the adults to laugh at. Meanwhile, the jokes would fly over the heads of the show's targeted young audience. I heavily dive into that concept in the last video I made about Rocco's Modern Life, but that video also got me thinking. What's my favorite episode of Rocco's Modern Life? I mean, there are so many good episodes of this show that that specific question is one that actually took me a long time to ponder. There's one where Heifer becomes a security guard, the one where Filbert comes of age and has to go to the islands to spawn, or of course the classic episode Wacky Deli when Rocco, Heifer, and Filbert help Ralph Bighead make a new cartoon. But of all the episodes I thought about, there was one specific episode that topped them all. That's why, today, on our nostalgic walk down memory lane, we're gonna take a look at my all-time favorite episode of Rocco's Modern Life. So, there's actually a pretty funny story as to why this episode is my favorite one. I remember seeing this episode when I was a little kid, and just thinking it was kind of weird, but when I first saw it as an adult, it just hit different. The year was 2015, and of all days, it was my 21st birthday. To celebrate, I went out to a bar with some of my friends and did that thing that most adults do on their 21st birthday, very excessively and enthusiastically. After we were done at the bar at like 2 a.m. or something like that, one of my friends dropped me off at my apartment. Let's just say I was completely destroyed. I stumbled my way into the living room and onto my couch, and I turned on the TV. I flipped through the channel guide and ended up turning it to The Splat, which at the time was a block of 90s Nicktoons that would play in the middle of the night on Teen Nick. And of all the episodes of all the shows that could be playing in the middle of the night, it was this specific episode of Rocco's Modern Life. Hef in a Handbasket Needless to say, with my state of mind at the time, this episode had me full on cackling. The episode starts off in Heck, where we see Peaches playing with a paddle ball when a mysterious entity scolds him for not bringing them a mortal soul for over 600 years. Well, Majesty, I. Silence! Bring a mortal to his eternal tarnation, or be prepared to suffer the consequences! We then pan up to Rocco's house where Heifer, Filbert, and Rocco are watching a game show and Heifer is just dominating, so Rocco suggests that Heifer audition to be a contestant in the show. Peaches, who is sulking in a bar somewhere in heck, has his pager go off as soon as Heifer says that he would do anything to be on a game show, prompting Peaches' preposterous poaching. Heifer calls in and Peaches sticks his evil hands through the phone to have Heifer sign a contract and agree to meet him at Underworld Studios at midnight. Heifer, what channel? 66! 66? What's wrong? I haven't got cable. And just like that, Hef is off to participate in a game show. Live from TV Land, it's time to play Triple Six! And here's your host, the Dark Master of Malevolence, the Crown Prince of Eternal Torment, the premise of the game show is that participants compete for points to earn a trip to you know where. To win the big trip, Heifer just needs to get a measly 666 points, and lucky for him, they start him off with 665 bonus points. This meat product, when ground, becomes the all-American hamburger. Graham! Are you serious? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, the answer we were looking for is beef! beef. I never knew that! Heifer absolutely fails at Jeopardy, which causes him to lose two points, so they move on to the next game, Family Feud. Heifer's playing with alternate versions of himself, all of which are excited to just give the wrong answer before Peaches even asks the question. Name of Sea Monkeys! You didn't wait to hear the quest- Poopery! Good answer! Silence! You will wait until I read the- Sea Monkeys! 
Next, we see Heifer participate in what I'm pretty sure is the $10,000 pyramid, but that show was a little bit before my time, so like, don't hold me to it. After many simple clues, Heifer fails to guess the word pizza, as he increasingly makes Peaches extremely angry. Listen. Mean Italian guy? <laughs> no, it's food! It's round! Italian donut hole! <laughs> Finally, they play a modified version of Wheel of Fortune. Heifer spins the wheel, and before it can stop spinning, without any clues or vowels or literally anything, he flawlessly guesses the right answer. Wait until the wheel stops! Big Fat Cow! What? Big Fat Cow! <laughs> Heifer gets his grand prize, as he is mercilessly tossed down into heck where Peaches is there to inform him that he has been sentenced to 1,000 bazillion years. All of a sudden, Heifer's grandma shows up to interrupt Peaches, saying that there is no way she's going to spend the rest of eternity with, quote, this rhinoceros crashing around, spoiling my peace and quiet. Mom and Dad said that you went up to heaven. They've been spooning you a bunch of hooey, hefty. You think I want to slouch around with a bunch of sandal-wearing Santa Clauses? I like it here. It's warm. Heifer's grandma takes the contract that Peaches had Heifer sign and she literally eats it and basically tells Peaches to eat shit while she threatens to throw old fruit at him. Heifer! Yes, Grandma? Dracula wants a word with you. I love my grandma. Hey, Peaches. Um, Heifer? Yes? Uh... Let's put a little feeling into it! Heifer pleads, saying that he wants to stay with his grandma, but Peaches lights him on fire and exiles him from heck, sending him back to the mortal plane. Meanwhile, the mysterious entity from the beginning of the episode is pissed at Peaches and condemns him to the worst punishment of all. What's this? Ah, uh, some new cartoon. Peaches modern life. Looks boring. Yeah. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Funky. Funky. And that's where it ends. I can honestly say that watching this episode in the state of mind that I was in when I saw it had me just dying laughing at how funny this episode was. Watching it now in a clear mental state, it still makes me laugh, not only because it's a hilarious episode, but just remembering when I saw it on my 21st birthday. That's the funny thing about having a favorite episode of a show. Sometimes it's not about the content of the episode itself, but more so about the memory attached to you seeing that specific episode. But what do you think? Have you seen this episode before? Also, what's your favorite episode of Rocco's Modern Life. Let me know down in the comments. Of course, I love reading all of your guys' opinions. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and give praise to the YouTube algorithm with hopes that it hopefully promotes this video. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.